It's your girl Ashley and I am back at it with Bottom Live, The Stage Show Part 2. I definitely enjoyed Part 1. We left off with them getting something in the letterbox. Then they started to hear a weird noise. I don't know if the weird noise was coming from the TV. I guess I'm about to find out. Before I get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. Go and get your service revolver. Oh, okay. I'll try to the service revolver. <laughs> Judy, then it, <laughs> it must be Monday. Bloody hell, Eddie. That was a bit of a lock in. Wasn't it? <laughs> Two bloody nights drinking. Bloody yeah. <laughs> Way the lads. What? I said, Way the lads. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what you said. <laughs> what the fuck does it mean? <laughs> right? God, Eddie, you're such a southerner, aren't you? <laughs> Us Geordies say it all the time. Way the lads! Had away and the shite! <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll repeat it. What the fuck <laughs> does it mean? <laughs> Way the lads! Yes! Well, it means, uh... It means, uh... The... What? It means, uh, come on, everyone, let's weigh all the lads. <laughs> let's Hello, weigh all the Richard, lads. I'm 13 and a half stone. <laughs> and uh, what about you, uh, Spender? Oh, somebody at the door. Ready? Hurry along. And why me? <laughs> well, because if it's a mob of crack crazed football enthusiasts hell bent on buggering the living daylights out of posh householders in a nice district like this, <laughs> they're likely to think twice when confronted by the whiff of Cro Magnon Man. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> I wonder what the fuck that meant. <laughs> Sounded pretty good though. It did. <laughs> what of <was> that? <laughs> Nothing. Just an aside. <laughs> <laughs> I told you before, you don't talk to the ordinary people. Oh, he's acting posh. He went out there with the revolver. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? Oh! What the hell? <laughs> I'm not suffering a slur like that. <laughs> it was just a dodgy batch of hormone replacement tablets, that's all. <laughs> hey, look, they've gone down now, haven't they? <laughs> I, I don't think it's about the breast enlargement accident. Who is it? Oh, phew. Okay, I'll carry on. You have been personally selected by our computer Ooh. <laughs> to take part in this once in a lifetime opportunity. To send us a check for fifty-five pounds. Wow. <laughs> Go on. No, that's it. <laughs> you mean that's it? How do they expect to get away with that? What's the name of the company? Uh, e Hitler 
Cash Quick Enterprises. <laughs> Next, Roddy letter. Yes, open the box. Ooh. Now this one. Another letter. From some solicitors. What? <sighs> Shit, Eddie, don't touch it. <gasps> Too late. <laughs> the dogs are already on it. Right, so tribes. Oh, tribes. Right. Uh, get, get the Bible and the crucifix. I'll take a pentangle of salt. And uh, no, call the estate agents. We're going to have to move house. No, wipe all the surfaces. Remove all the evidence we were ever here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not about the pet shop, is it? I told you my trousers <laughs> fell open. <laughs> And he slept on some hamster food, and my penis inadvertently entered the goldfish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Jesus! I've accidentally opened it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just got the lamby for a couple of days, Eddie. <sighs> All of that for solidity. What's it, Mel? Fuck it. Just read it. Shotgun, bastard, and dribble. <laughs> Lawyers. For the attention of Richard Richard. <laughs> Owing to the unfortunate demise of your great uncle Norman. Blah, 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 blah. Full stop. Diddly do, 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 diddly do. Come on. Blimey, there are some bollocks, these lawyers, don't they? <laughs> blah, 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 15,000 pounds. Seats. <laughs> Catch what? An anus full of razor wire? <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, have you got a full sexual history of everyone you've ever slept with? Hmm? Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I've got it right here. On me. There. It's a very small piece of paper, isn't it? Oh, Eddie, don't be so judgmental. It's quality that counts, not quantity. <laughs> And it's blank. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a devastatingly accurate report. I wish I'd never commissioned it now. I employed a private investigator. Three weeks he took. Three whole weeks. Damn. All he did was stand around in the garden all day looking at my hedge. Then four days later I found out he was a private investigator. <laughs> I've got to get that typewriter fixed. <laughs> he got to tell him about anyway, the money. You come off your high horse. What about your sexual history? I have got nothing to hide. No, not after three pints, you haven't, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's glug, glug, glug. Ooh, look, Eddie, there's Ethel Cardew. Yeah, <laughs> Ethel Cardew. And it's down with the trousers and out with the spotlight, isn't it? <laughs> We've been thrown out of many a good snug because of your knob impressions, haven't we? We've seen them all. Big Ben. Ooh. Zulu's Dawn. <laughs> Churchill looking startled. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's what I call safe sex. It's not what the police called it. They called it incitement to riot. <laughs> anyway, anyway, enough of that bollocks, Eddie. Tell me the worst. Ooh. What did the solicitors want? Uh, 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 he never got settled. <laughs> Ooh, blimey! Now, that's an interesting looking package. Why, thank you, Eddie. Ooh! I don't think he's talking about that. Huh? 
<laughs> you can't talk about the you penis. Didn't say it was a parcel. Oh. It's fantastic. Oh, that's great. I love surprises. Ha ha ha. Why are you doing that? That is so messed up. He loves surprises. He's always kicking me in the knackers. Where's the surprise in that? <laughs> I used the other foot. <laughs> Pass the pliers, would you? I think I need to dislodge a couple of items. <laughs> he did say he loves it. Oh, not the, not the plot. Peter's back. Got him right back in the that penis. Them. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bloody rats. <laughs> Open the parcel. <laughs> they are fool. <laughs> Footwork, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what they doing? A river dance? Oh! Boom! Show pack it in here. Be packing in. We're too old for this. <laughs> Definitely too old. I could be masturbating for a month. <laughs> oh my god! Just beating each other up. Yeah, well, you have, haven't you? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's been a long tour, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I say, it's a bloody good job these towels were here, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> a bit of luck. <sighs> I actually hit you on the nose then, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> they are exhausted. Take your time. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh-oh. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> oh, Eddie, Eddie, why does everything we do have to degenerate into mindless violence? Because <laughs> I love violence. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, I suppose you're right, you insane old git. Come on, let's shake and make up. <laughs> right, come on, come on. Let's open up the bottle. See what we've got. No! Oh, bollocks! They have to be awfully big ones. <laughs> now it's, it's the Bollocks. Oh. This is for a professor, Richard Muck Richard. <laughs> Mafeking Terrace Young Ladies Hospital. Research department. Please rush my love item to me. <laughs> I am over 18. Over 18. Oh, and it looks so damnedly intriguing. Open it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you alright, Richie? What? Yeah, 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 just trying to think fast, yeah. <laughs> His facial expressions. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, <laughs> Read me that name again, would you, Andy? Uh, Professor Richard Muck. Richard, yes, of course, I'm being stupid. <laughs> Surprise me. Uh. What? I said surprise me. Uh oh. Okie dokie. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> what have you what? got there? My testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, of course, Professor Richard Muck Richard. Yep. Yes, now then, he's my uh, Scottish relative, you know. Oh, yes. yes. And he's a professor, you see, and he asked me to look after some items of the, of the medical 
nature <laughs> for him while he's away in uh, uh, Umi, Gummy, Gummy, Gum, Gum, Gum land. <laughs> right, I better just uh, open it up and check that it, it's all there. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, that all seems to be in order. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Listen, oh, is that the time? Do you know, I think I'll turn in early tonight, Eddie. <laughs> what do you mean? It's only half past ten in the morning. Oh, stop being so pedantic. We've only just found out it's Monday, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right, uh, nighty night, Eddie. See you in the morning. If I've still got the power of sight. We got to see who was in the parcel. He like, he don't care. He got that money. Call him about that money. It don't work. <laughs> it don't work, mate. <laughs> Hello? It Shotgun, works. Shotgun, bastard, and dribble. Call us a bit of luck. I don't know what the fuck I dial. <laughs> and the 15 grand that's owing. Yes, well, I was just wondering, um, if something should happen to Richard, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing serious, you know, just should he, uh, stop living <laughs> for a while? <laughs> like that. The 15 grand that's owed <coughs> was on two. I see, the next of ten. Ooh. Now, is that a sort of blood relative? <laughs> Or yes. Could it be a mate? Your kind of best drinking buddy of a Saturday <laughs> night kind of guy. <laughs> no. <coughs> <coughs> well, how do you get to be next of kin then? Yes, marriage. Yeah. Or adoption. <laughs> oh. All right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Bastard, and uh, good morning. <laughs> My name? Uh, Don't tell him. J. R. Hartley. <laughs> Delighted to send a sign, Picky. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and and a test tube full of my love juice. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Morning, and good bastard. Oh. <laughs> good bastard. Oh. This is it, Eddie. This is the big one! And I don't mean that crap sitcom on Channel 4 with Sandy Toxvig in it. What sitcom is this? What the hell? Why do I look like a diaper? <laughs> Who? What's that disgusting smell? Have you been saying Sandy Toxvig again? <laughs> Sorry, Rich. Well, don't. You know it brings on my eczema. Your trousers. What? Uh, oh, they blew off in a storm, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> what storm? Have you got the pump? <laughs> no, it's just the way I'm standing. <laughs> no, no, it's not a euphemism. It's gone on and on it goes. Oh, look, it's no double entendre. It's just a straight question. Have you got the pump? <laughs> no. <laughs> the only pump we've got is that big electric one that Gusty O. Windflap had installed, remember? When he was rehearsing his adult variety act. The Human Balloon. Gusty O. Windflap. <laughs> now, whatever happened to him? <laughs> Why he is he standing like that? four counties, remember? When the nozzle got accidentally lodged in his rectum. <laughs> so he was, so he was. What a dreadfully sad thing to happen to anyone. <laughs> right? How we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I did. Oh, he was a one-off. Yeah, I've heard about being blown off, but that took some beating. Yeah. <laughs> they had to close the high street. Do you remember? So they did, so they did. Gusty, 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 gusty. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> 
Oh, well, who gives a fuck about him? The cunt's there anyway. <laughs> So what you're saying is that, Eddie, the only pump in the house is right here, <laughs> in the drawing room. That's right, me old cock-a-leaky mate, flap sparrow, cock me rhyming bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> and it can't be moved from here. Uh, no. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh, oh. what are you doing today, Eddie? Well, it's a Monday, isn't it? You know, start of a new week. New prospects. <laughs> new horizons. <laughs> so, you know, I think I might just sit on the sofa and wait till Emmerdale comes on the telly. <laughs> the telly, bro. Which could be some considerable time. <laughs> yeah, Why, she's... what are you doing today, Rich? Just hanging about the flat till I go out so you can have a wank? <laughs> but how do you know these things? <laughs> Who tells you these things? Are you a member of the occult? What did you just call me? <laughs> a member of the occult. Right, that's it, matey. God, a bloody horrible smell. <laughs> Eau de toilette. <laughs> This, Eddie, is the latest fragrance from Paris. So well, they're in trouble with their sewers again. That's <laughs> like shit. Look, Eddie, if you really must know, uh -huh. I mean, if you really, really must know, <laughs> I, oh, I, uh, I've got a bird coming round. A <laughs> <laughs> bird. Where's she a at? A bird? Yes, a bird. A real bird. <laughs> a real great big bird with real great big wobbly knockers hanging off like they're going out of fashion. <laughs> so I don't want you cluttering up the place, polluting the atmos with your foul dog breath and spoiling my chances. Because I'll tell you what, my old mate, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm what? talking about on here. On! 100% cert. Ooh. Oh, she's blind! <laughs> Just because you've never had a bird round the flat. <laughs> what about that owl? <laughs> the owl? Yeah, but you didn't get a shag off her, though, did you? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> what is the owl? Of trying. <laughs> you had to bring that up again, didn't you? Oh, I thought that was all water under the bridge. Oh, Susie. <laughs> I don't know, someone had stuffed her already. <laughs> Is that a cougar? So, you owl? want me out of the way, then? Oh, thanks, Eddie. I knew you'd come round in the end. Bye. How much have you got? Not a lot. Yeah, I know that, but I'm talking about money. <laughs> <laughs> you blood-sucking hell fiend. And I thought you were my best friend. No. Nope. Uh, yes, I'm afraid I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. So you are. God, life's a bitch! <laughs> All right, just this once, you can have my emergency fiver. <laughs> my emergency fiver's gone! Oh! <laughs> he took it. Maybe it blew away. <laughs> Ow! Hell of a gust, steady. I nailed it down. <laughs> Fuck me, the nails have gone too! <laughs> Where can it be? Search me, mate. <laughs> now that uh -oh. is a bloody good idea. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Here it is. The emergency fiver in your top pocket. <laughs> Edward, Elizabeth. You go ahead on. A fucking genius. <laughs> I knew you'd know where it'd be. There's the fiver. 
<laughs> you want him going. Now fuck off and don't come back. <laughs> you want him going. But I shall be back just as soon as I have spent it. Righto. <laughs> About to go get. Oh, the box, the parcel. Open it. that money that fast. Spent it. <laughs> hey, Richie. Where's your boo? <laughs> I mean, I knew you were quick, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, uh, uh, she hasn't come yet. Well, that's no big surprise. <laughs> you came back too fast. She's hardly likely to have an orgasm with you, is she? <laughs> well, she's not going to have an orgasm, Eddie. She's a girl. <laughs> What? <laughs> Girls have I mean, orgasms. Where do you pick up your sexual mores? In the beano? <laughs> <laughs> now come on, clear off. Oh, blimey. You can get through money quickly in a big city like this, can't you? Well, here we go. No sooner was I out of the front door than it had gone. Bloody muggers everywhere. <laughs> I think I've lost another tooth. Henny, you've been mugged? Yeah. Great heavens, are you okay? Did you get a good look he at him? Lying. You know, could you describe him? Yes. He was about my age. About my height. Uh, glasses. Stupid little fucking hat. <laughs> and he was wearing these exact clothes. Him. You he mugged yourself. Yes. That's right, matey. And made a fiver out of it. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm off out again. <laughs> See you later. Oh, he was trying to catch him. you relax and unwind for a while <laughs> on the chasey longuey <laughs> she got some nice knockers back in a mo a sex mo <laughs> <laughs> oh! no he didn't just getting the hand cream baby just chucking the lid away we won't uh oh because we're gonna get through the whole blam and lock tonight <laughs> Spread her legs. The pump. <laughs> Wait. Right. I didn't know that they had blow up dolls back then. I must be. So I thought this was like a new thing. I did not know they had blow up. This was what in 1993. They had blow up dolls back then. Again. <laughs> shit, shit, oh shit. Oh, Monica. Monica. <laughs> How are you just going next? <laughs> Her leg is sticking out. Like he had a long penis. Walk out of your own front 
<laughs> Still made another five around. <laughs> Cause you mugged yourself. Fifteen quid so far. <laughs> I could be a millionaire by the morning. Eddie, can you explain to me? <laughs> <laughs> My intestine seems to have prolapsed. <laughs> I really must get it fixed sometime. Eddie, why do you keep coming back? Oh, I forgot to pick up the solicitor's letter. <laughs> and what do you want with the solicitor's letter? Oh, Eddie. <laughs> Fuck, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I thought if I took it, I'd probably get mugged again. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, then the muggers would take it, right? And we would never hear of it again? Well, Eddie, that's a fantastic plan. What could go wrong with something like that? Right. I'll be off again then. Taxi! <laughs> the Copacabana! Yeah, well, wait for me, you little bastard. <laughs> I'll see you later. Righto, take care, Eddie. <laughs> no, he didn't just jump out the window. <laughs> Oh my god. You want to take Monica out? If only. <laughs> oh, Monica. <laughs> Alone at last. Time to descend Ooh. to the very depths of erotic <laughs> experimentation. I'll just shove you on the pump for a while. <laughs> You better hurry up. Just a quick gust of love air, my angel, and we'll be in paradise. Oh, right. Contact. It works. Oh, Monica. Monica. <laughs> You're beautiful. Oh, look at her. Oh, that'll do. Don't want to shag a fatty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i definitely enjoyed part two that was so hilarious this whole time he was talking about a freaking blow-up doll and i did not even know they had blow-up dolls back in the day that is hilarious oh my goodness comment down below let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video bye fam